Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. My name is Shannon Lilly and today we are jumping into a completely new section on Pixel for Life on 3D modeling. We've decided to use uh, Maya um, just simply because uh, I've used it for a long time and I kind of decided I wanted to get back into the whole 3D um, modeling type thing and not only that but Autodesk hooked us up with a copy of it for free um, so that's always cool but there is a uh, student edition that you can get at a much cheaper cost um, and we look forward to teaching you. Now although we are using um, Maya you can use literally any 3D program out there you know that you can get your hands on and the principles are the exact same. Now the tools that you use and what they're called and where they're placed and the uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts those are all going to be different but the actual principles of modeling regardless of what program you use are always going to be the same in these lessons. Um, we are going to be using polygons for modeling. We're not really going to get in and we might get into surfaces and curves a little bit for a few things but very little and any of the things that we do do with that you can use regular polygons to model instead so don't don't let that be a distraction and, or worry about it. Now what we're going to be doing simply is we're going to create a really cool uh, motorized scooter type thing um, I saw this specific scooter that I want to create in the new Lorax movie that came out, the Dr. Seuss Lorax, and I just thought it was really cool. So I decided that, hey, let's just jump right into doing that. Now, usually, it, you know, people have like basics lessons to start out with, like, you know, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, etc. And I'm going to do a little bit of that, but overall, I want to just jump into it because personally, I'm the kind of uh, hands-on learner where if you give me a project, I just learn as I go. Now with that said, I haven't done 3D modeling in a long time. Um, I know how to do it, I know all the shortcuts, all that kind of thing, but I haven't done it in a long time. So this series is going to be real time. And what I mean by that is basically, what you see is what you get. If I run into a problem, I'm not gonna just simply turn off the camera and be like, I'll scratch that lesson, I'll come back to it later. I'm actually going to work through the problem on the screen. Some of these lessons might end up being an hour, two hours long, and that's fine. I'm. It doesn't matter to me. We are going to be real time with this and actually show you how to 3D model. Any problems that we run into, you're going to get uh, get to see firsthand how we deal with them um, so that you can do this literally for yourself. So with this little introduction, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. So basically, um, I want to go ahead and first of all click on panels and go to my perspective orthographic view here and from here I can go to layouts and then click on four panes and what this does is it allows me to have all four um, sides to look at. Now I have my top right here, my side and my front. Now I, I usually like these a little bit different so I'm going to go to panels and I'm going to go to my um, top view up here because this is where I want my top view. And over here I want to have my uh, uh, side view. And then here I'll have my uh, front view. Front, uh, front, back, same thing. It doesn't matter. Um, so, but that's, that's what I want. Now, you can see here that I have these uh, grids on here. And you can basically not have, you don't really have to worry about those yet because we're not really doing anything at this point. But... Basically, and I'm just going to drop this object in here real quick, um, just so you, I can show you this. But basically, when you have an object, if you hit F, it'll center it um, in your uh, viewport. If you're like basically hovered in your viewport and you hit F, it'll it'll zoom into it um, and fit it to your to your pane. Um, now, a lot of the modeling I do will probably be spent in just this one pane. And you can see here, I hit my space bar to go in and out of this. And also by holding down my spacebar, I can access a lot of cool stuff um, like edit NURBS, subdivision surfaces, etc. And by doing that, it allows me to, to really do a lot of cool things. But uh, we'll, we'll get into some of that stuff later. But uh, with that, so I just go back and hit F. And I'll delete that. And let's go ahead and just get started here. Now what I've decided to do is on my side view, I want to put the reference image that I have. Now this reference image 
is not perfect. Um, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that, but I could not find a really good one. Um, so, and I may actually end up just taking and getting rid of this anyway, but I figured, you know what? I, it is what it is. I have what it, this, it currently is, so I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> so basically, um, if I go over here to view and I go to image plane, I can import an image. And I have this image on my desktop of, the, of this scooter, which you can see here. And I'm just going to hit open. And you can see here that it's placed right here. And in the perspective view over here, if I hold down all that, I can rotate around it. It's right in the center of my perspective. And which is fine. Um, but I'm not going to want that. So first of all, I'm going to take this alpha gain. And I'm going to put it down to about 0 0.6 in the, in the area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I'm going to make sure that it's set to fixed. Um, if I attach it to the camera, it's just weird. So I'm going to make sure it's on fixed. And then I want to go ahead and this placement here is to... Uh, la, 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 la. Now this coverage is basically the... Um, uh, and these things can all be adjusted. It's just basically to adjust the, where the image is. Um, and, and you can see here, these center adjustments here, I can basically adjust. I'm going to put this at negative 10, which will put it kind of on the edge over here of my uh, pane. I'm actually going to have to go a little bit further than that. Uh, where did that go? Image plane here. And let's go ahead and make that negative 15. Basically, I just don't want it in my way. I, I, I like to have a reference image, but I also do not like to have it in my way. Because when I'm modeling from this side, because we're basically going to be modeling from this perspective side over uh, to create this this cool um, shape on the on the machine and I need to have this center line so that I can just model it on one side and then mirror it over to the other is basically how it's going to work and usually people will have a, a top and a front etc um, model to you or, or reference image but I only have this one so that's literally all I needed to be able to set up this image plane um, now I'm going to go ahead and go to file and save scene as and I'm just going to save this under the, the default scene section, call it uh, PFL Scooter Lesson 1. And basically I'm going to try to save out every lesson so that um, I have them as a backup just in case I need to redo something or whatever. But with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this lesson. That is the basic way to set up an image plane and make sure that it's grayed out so that when you're modeling you can still see behind it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick lesson, and I will see you in the next lesson soon.